the current state of Venus flytrap. This one is small but growing well. Divide roots for replanting Venus flytrap. This is another divide roots for replanting Venus flytrap. This is bristle tooth with divide roots for replanting. New buds are growing. New buds are growing rapidly. Will this Bart Simpson grow well? New buds are growing. This one is small but growing well. How I manage Venus flytrap at home in winter. Venus flytrap should be overwintered in a cold environment. If you grow them in a warm, heated environment, Venus flytrap will grow slowly in winter but will die in spring. Therefore, it is important to keep Venus flytrap in a cold environment during the winter and let it go dormant. Venus flytrap is placed in a place where the temperature is 0 to 5 degrees centigrade in winter and it receives full sunlight. If the temperature is below 0 degrees centigrade, it is better to keep Venus flytrap in a room without heating. Therefore, I keep my Venus flytrap near a window in winter. This is how my window looks like. I open the window to allow a little wind movement. The diagram below shows the wind flow. It is hard to see in the picture, but the wind is coming in from this side. How do you manage Venus flytrap? Please let me know in the comments. Venus flytrap watering. In winter, Venus flytrap is dormant, so the soil and water moss do not dry out much. There is a way to grow Venus flytrap by storing water in a saucer. If you are growing them by storing water in a saucer, change the water in the saucer every three days. I do not store water in the saucer. When the Venus flytrap soil dries out, I water it a little. You can also prune the black dead parts of the Venus flytrap. To prevent the dead parts from getting moldy, you can cut off the dead parts like this. Always disinfect the dead parts by roasting them over a fire before cutting. Cut the dead parts like this. Keep the plant healthy. It is also a good idea to repot or divide plants during the dormant winter months of December to February. The roots are delicate and weak, so remove the plant from the pot gently so as not to cut and damage them. Clean off old water moss and soil from the roots. For sphagnum moss, wrap the roots in watered sphagnum moss and plant in a pot. In case of soil, put some soil in the pot first. Make a hole in the center of the pot and plant the roots in the hole. After repotting, put the plant outdoors in a sunny place and let it go dormant in the cold. This is how I manage my Venus flytrap in winter. How do you manage Venus flytrap in winter? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel and give my a high rating. For more videos related to Venus flytrap, please click here. Thank you for watching.